The fall semester begins in six weeks, and University of Florida students are struggling with the question of whether they should return to Gainesville. I spoke to a couple of out-of-state students who said it's a decision they've thought hard about. Aaron Cho is a UF student from New Jersey, and rising UF senior Reagan Fuel is from Maryland but is spending her summer in Maine. Cho has decided not to return to campus for the fall semester. I guess it's like harder for out-of-state students because like obviously you want to go to Florida, but like Florida's like the numbers are crazy right now. Fuel is torn about what she should do. Part of me just wants to stay in Maine until I kind of get a feel for how like school, school life there is going to be. According to the university's reopening plan, classes will be held online, face-to-face, -face, or hybrid. The plan gives students the option to take classes online and to attend labs and classes in person that would be difficult to hold remotely. But for out-of-state students like Cho, she thought the decision to stay home was financially smarter. She also expected a reduction in some of the cost of attendance. I'm not using any of the like resources at school and I'm literally just home taking classes the same as like everyone else. Assistant Vice President of Communications Steve Orlando says since the university's reopening plan was released, many students and parents have reached out with questions about tuition and says the cost will not change. Uh, we will not be changing tuition. And the fact of the matter is we've invested a lot in that and it's actually, believe it or not, it's a little more expensive to do classes online than it is in person. Fuel is worried that not returning for the fall semester has more than just financial challenges. My biggest fears are, I'm again, I'm not going to have as many academic resources and I'm also not going to be as involved on campus. Orlando says amid the coronavirus pandemic, the university created online spaces for students to utilize remotely. There is an online student union, rights union, um, and there's a lot of activity and interaction that takes place online now that used to take place in person. Orlando says he is optimistic the fall semester will be successful and wants to reassure everyone that the university's plan accommodates students who wish to take classes in person or online. For students who are returning to campus for the fall semester, amenities like Southwest Rec, campus libraries, and the Rights Union will be open with social distancing. Taylor Levesque, WUFT News.